In this first challenge, we will take a look at some simple classic games and try to improve on them. First, let's take a look at Snakes and Ladders, a game where you roll and move and have no decision where to move at all. The game is pure luck. The challenge here is to make a game that is still a simple race, but where players are given some kind of agency. What would you do? We could give all players the possibility to re-roll twice. You roll once and move like in the regular game, but you can get a second roll and add the numbers of the pips on your first and second roll, move that amount of spaces. But if you get a 6 on your second roll, you lose your entire turn. If you didn't lose your turn, you can roll a third time, add the amount of pips on all rolls, move that amount of spaces, but if you rolled uh, more than uh, 11 combined, you have to go to the nearest snake and slide down it. If you roll 6 in your third turn, you also lose your turn. This game might not be the greatest. It's still based on luck, but players are given some choices and we've made a new game without adding new components or changing the board. Another example could be the simple card game War where players simply turn over a card from their pile and then the winner is the player with the highest ranked card. Again pure luck and no choices. What can we do here? Let's give one of the players clubs and spades and the other player hearts and diamonds. Both piles are shuffled and the players each draw a hand of three cards. The players now have a limited choice of which card they want to play next. The game is still very dependent on luck, so let's add some extra rules. Aces are the lowest cards, but they can beat the king, queen and jack. The two will always force a wall. A seven can only beat five, six, eight and nines. The card you win from your opponent is worth one point if it's a two to nine. King, Queen and Jack is 2 points, and let's add some spice, the 10 is worth 4 points, you don't want to lose this card. The point here is to have some ideas and test how they work, and then you make alterations as you go along. But be aware if you have a game for a 3 year old and you make some changes, it might turn into a game that is for 10 year olds. And now we have arrived at the first challenge. I want you to make a fix for tic-tac-toe. The game must be a game where you put pieces on a board and move them around to make some kind of pattern which will win you the game. You can change the size of the board. Maybe your tokens are double sided and they can flip somehow. Maybe you can stack them. Maybe you can flip the board over and the pieces are affected by gravity. It can be a game for more than two players. It can be tanks shooting each other or pieces eating each other. You make it up, but it must be simple and played in less than five minutes. Now take 15 minutes, write down on a piece of paper what your idea is and start testing. When you're done, post it here on YouTube or on the Facebook group. Now I will show you what my idea is, but if you haven't done yours, Take 15 minutes now. My idea. Well, actually my second idea, because I had an idea about gravity and it didn't work. So I made a second game after 15 more minutes. I decided on making some player tokens that both players would control. And uh, you have to make a pattern of three, like tic-tac-toe. I decided that the pieces should start on the board, it's just easier. You can move sideways one space, up and down, but you can also tumble. It is possible for both players to get three in a row at the same time, and then you don't win, but if a player can move a piece so the other player only has two in a row, then uh, the player with three in a row will win. Or you can win by four in a row if the other player has three in a row. I hope all you designers are willing to make some simple games and discuss them 
and try to make them better. So join the Facebook group if you haven't. Let's get the sign in.